kal halalium la yahawo bahasham shal yahawo shai baha rakhat madash, which is ancient paleo Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh, who, which is the Heavenly Father's only Hebrew name in the name of Yahweh Shai, which is his son's only Hebrew name in the Holy Spirit, which is the wisdom and understanding of this um, Holy Scriptures, Holy Bible, right? With the Raka Kodash. It's like you want to go into a lesson entitled You Are in Control. And by I say you, um, that you is Yahweh I'm talking about. Right? It's kind of like a bait title. I pray this lesson would I find. I want to say to Wari Al Bashim Shai putting the spirit on me to do this lesson. All right. Um but the main main um main definition of this lesson is that we should pray or in prayer we should say to you how Yoshai, you are in control. You know like a submiss a, a submissive statement, you know. You know we, we say that we surrender to you and we give up and we need your help and so forth. But um you know, when you say you are in control, um, it's you hum humbly, you humbly, or meek, showing meekness by saying to Yahweh Hashem that you are in control. And you know, I've been going through some affliction of recent, and Yahweh Hashem has thoroughly shown me that He is in control. That at anything. Smallest thing you could fall off in the street, smallest thing could get you killed, could get you who knows, who knows, get you, could put you back in, in another state, in a worse state, in, in limbo, you know, being lukewarm, and you just gotta pray and try your best to to, to understand that how about Shemi Oshai is in control, and we don't know if we can make it in the end. But we just gotta continue saying that Yahweh Hashem Yahusha, you are in control, and we accept and we submit to that. Even if we're not the elect, we accept and we commit to that. You know, and that sounds like something the elect would say. Out that's that's a that's a real faith-driven thing to say. That even if we're not the elect, Yahweh Hashem Yahusha, you are in control because His judgment is perfect. You know. And knowing that he's in control helps you understand that you gotta know you how about him, that he exercises love and kindness, and wrath also comes from him. All right, he's not to be messed with, he's not to be tested or tempted. Understand that he's in control in every in inexplicable micro way you could possibly think of ways that we know and ways that we don't know. He is in control. In control. All right, so let me get my first precepts. Like if I was rambling. But you know this this lesson um this lesson you know been on my mind a couple of days now well actually a couple like last month you know I was like going through some things and you realize that hey, how bad she knows she really in control because you know I don't know how I wake up just every morning and think about him or you know going through the, the motions of this world and. And keep on thinking about him because you can you can be tempted in so many ways, and that's why you gotta know who you are and know what you want. Right? So this is Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 3. It says, The finding pot, the finding pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but Yahweh tryeth the hearts. Alright? Yahweh tryeth the hearts, which is the mind. He's, he see it fit to put it in this in this way. Everything we see, everything we know, he see it fit and we and the elect will understand and the most is in control. He has perfectly aligned everything it's supposed to supposed to be done. Right? He gave the word into the hands of the wicked. You know, he didn't tell anyone who's an elect and so forth for those who will genuinely serve him, praise him. You know, and and understand that he is in control. You know? So this is um so to our next precept. This is Zachariah. Zachariah thirteen and verse nine. Alright. 
Let's read from verse 8. Zechariah chapter 13 verse 8. But it shall come to pass that in the, in all the land you have saith you how two parts herein shall be cut off and die, but a third shall be left therein. Yahweh was in control. He he chose the segregation. See who said it? Saith Yahweh, verse 8, right in the middle there. Right in the middle there. And it says, And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. Right? So that's what he's doing with our spirit right now. He's trying and it says silver is refined and as gold is tried in the furnace. Right? It says, they shall call on my name. We've been given the name. That's like the cheat code, <laughs> so to speak. That's like the cheat code, all right? And so like you can hear some music in the back, just some neighbors, you know, some heathens, and whatnot. You know, but the spirits want me to do this lesson, and I got to bring it out, you know? And um, it says, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. All right, so these people that are, so these people, that are being tried, one third of Israel that is being tried, they will they will say, Yahweh is my power, and not Esau, not the so-called white race, not Jesus, not Krishna, not Buddha, not Muhammad. You know, they will say Yahweh, the elect, and He's bringing us through the fire, purges of all that fire we were engaged in, right? Um, Breaking us down so that you can build us up back perfectly, unblemished, incorruptible, invincible, and immortal, right? So let me read back verse 9. And I will bring the third part to the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. And they shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, Your house is my power. So there's a more sight. In control, the elect will understand that we will go through with these things. That this is not under our control. We don't have free will. All right, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you are in control. All right. All right. So let's get Revelation chapter four. Chapter 4 and verse 11. It says, Thou art worthy. And this is a prayer that, that the elect will pray. It says, Thou art worthy, O Yahweh, to receive glory, honor, and power. For thou hast created all things for thy pleasure, and they, they and they are and were created. And for thy pleasure they are and were created. For most thy pleasure. He can do what the fuck he wants. If he wants you here, he can put you there. If he wants you there, he can put you there. If he wants you dead, he can make you dead. If he wants you living, he wants you crippled, he wants you dumb, he wants you smart, he wants you rich, he wants you poor. He is doing it for his own pleasure. And the elect will give up everything just to be aligned according to the most high pleasure. Everything for Yahweh Bashim Yoshai, just to please the most high. Well done, good and faithful servant. We seek not to please man, but we seek to be the best thing we were created to be scripture says even even at even at our best we we know comparison to our watching which i roughly paraphrasing right so all right um let's go to our next precept is in psalms psalms 135 and verse 6 all right it says, Whatsoever Yahweh pleased, that did he in heaven and in earth, in the seas and in all the deeps. So whatever the most high pleased, you can do in heaven, you can do in earth, you can do in the seas, you can do in all deep places, deep space, wherever he's 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 gonna do it. And it's done already because he's outside space and time. Alright? We gotta on we gotta wrap our heads around these 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 um these things to, to humble us, you know. He's in control and we can't force the spirit. Me personally, this is a cut for me because I'm always trying to force things and try to control things and <laughs> we know that we get it from our father, right? But at this point in time, we gotta we gotta fully submit and let him take full control. You know, like like the, those fools and fools in, in Christianity faith. Christianity belief, not faith, not even belief, Christianity Christianity religion. 
I would say, you know, Jesus take the wheel. Uh, we got to say, Yahweh Hashem, you know, should I take everything? You know, we got to have an everything ship. <laughs> According to that, that, uh, that, that series new on Netflix, we're supposed to have an everything ship with Yahweh Hashem, you know, that's what we're trying to reach, everything. Everything that he, he sees fit for us to know and everything he sees fit for us to experience and endure. Just let him take control. He's, his judgment is much better than ours. Alright, it says so in the Sirach. Let me see if I find out. It wasn't part of my uh, precept list, but um, yeah, we have Sirach 5. If I'm mistaken. It's locked in. Yeah, so, so Rock chapter 5 and verse 2. Follow not thine own mind and thy strength and walk in and walk in the ways of, of thy heart. Alright? Follow not in our own ways or in our own strength. We gotta submit. Our strength is shit compared to our and Yahweh's strength. In most sides, beyond strength. You know, let's go to, um, let's see. Okay, I think Spur just leave me to another one in Jeremiah. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's Jeremiah 17. Yeah, this is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7. Blesses a man that trusts in Yahweh and whose hope is in whose hope Yahweh is. Alright. Verse 8, he shall be as he shall be as a tree planted by the waters that spreadeth out and her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, for her leaf shall be green and shall be and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. All right, this is a parabolic way. A scripture referred to men, as men as trees, right? So it says, "Blessed is the man that trusts in Yahweh, and whose hope Yahweh is. For he shall be as a tree planted in the waters, grounded, standing firm, solid. Um, you know, as as um, as the word preeminence. You know, he would, you know, have that vigor, right? It says, um." And that spread it out her roots by the river, you know, he is in a good source of of of, of balance and control, you know, well, control on on the Yahweh Bashim you know, will, alright. Um, I shall not see when heat cometh. What well, heat? The heat of destruction. The heat of 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 uh, of sin. The wages of sin, alright. To dry up, to consume. Right, but his to dry up and consume the knowledge that you already learn or attain or you apply. Right, but her leaf, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Right, so it's gonna be fresh. All right, it's gonna be fresh. He that trusts in Yahweh, not his own strength. Who is the he that submits to Yahweh's, Yahweh's control? Right. Um. Shall not be careful in your job. You don't have to be cautious or scared, you know, trying to be precise because his faith is in Yahweh Bashan and Shai. I mean, um, during the time of tribulation, he will be tested, as, it say, as you know, it says in um, Zechariah. So we shall be tested. His goal is tried. So we, we won't be careful trying to save food. And we know that Yahweh Bashan and Shai bless the birds. It's lucky. Bless the birds. The other animals, the whole ecosystem, the whole earth, and so forth. They don't till nor plow or anything like that, but yet they, the food, the, the food is is um, provided, water and whatnot. Right? It's just, um, you know, that hope, that faith in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh neither shall cease from yielding fruit, it shall not cease from from praising Yahweh Hashem, because that's the greatest fruit that we could bring forth praises. All right, and. Um, Anyway, let me get back to these other precepts I've written now. This is the last one, actually. All right, I pray that this lesson is, um, you know, edifying. 
and exhorting to you brothers and sisters out there watching Father willing. So this is um, Isaiah 43 and verse 13. It's lucky. It says, Yea, before the day was, I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? As Yahweh Shemi Oshai said. Alright? Let me see. Yeah, let me just stick to that one, alright? Yeah, and let me read it back again. Slack. I'll just read the other two verses above and below. See if I should read that. It says, Yea, before the day was, I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let? Alright? Before day was, before time was, he was there. He figured all this shit out. Right? And he set the ideal plan so that he can be praised in the highest. Alright? That's ultimate control. All right, all right, and it says, um, there is none that can deliver out of hand. We can't escape. We don't know what happens when we sleep and stuff. Like we can't escape, you know, control of Yahweh the reins that He pulls. Right? It says, I will work, and who shall let it be? Most, most I work. Who is giving the Most I go ahead to work? Nobody, because he's been doing. What he been doing. He, he, he doing. He, he been doing himself. He been doing what he does. Being a all powerful supreme being, all right, and we just gotta be in sync, be single. I, all right, and that goes to me entirely because, like I said earlier, you know, I'm learning the balance and praying to Abash and Yoshai. Um, that you know, you, you keep it together, you stay in tune with the action, stay in tune with videos, and, and so forth, you know, applying the scriptures, not going off. So forth, keeping yourself in check, fasting and praying, rebuking, and the Vesak is coming up, you know, holy days and whatnot. On the sound of Yahweh is in, yeah, is, in, is in control. You know, you belong. It's all part of this massive plan. But you come back and love him even more. Right? And with that, I want to give our praises to Yahweh. With that, I want to give our praises, glory, honor. And our um, reverence to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, Baha Rakhakudash. Alright. Double honors to the apostles and those of written stone. And salutations to the sincere Akim as pushing through these holy scriptures. Alright. Keep enduring Akim. Alright. Yahweh is in control. Alright. I want to say, Yahweh, you are in control. Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, you are in control. Dwada, Dwada.